The plan is I'm heading straight for the Brecon Beacons now. I'm about six miles, seven miles away from the start of the Beacons and then I'm gonna summit a penny fan, the highest mountain in the Beacons, find somewhere to wild camp and then make my way down and loop back around to where I started. And I've put my phone on airplane mode, completely disconnected from the world at the moment. And it's just going to be me immersed in nature up in the mountains for the next 24 hours. And I'm really looking forward to it. That's really cool. I just come around the corner there and I can see Penny Fan directly ahead of me. baking hot day today and it's late September so we're still hanging on to summer I've got Penny Fan directly ahead of me. That's where I'm heading. And I'm gonna be climbing very soon. Now I made it to the base of Penny Fan and it's been looming in front of me all afternoon now as I edge closer to it and now I'm starting to climb so I've got my hiking poles on my bag so I'll get them out in a minute and start using them. So the route I'm climbing Penny Fan is so quiet. I've just met one other hiker and I can see it off to my left here at the summit. And I can hear loads of people out there and I can see all the little tiny dots that are the people. It's so busy because it's a Saturday as well. So, so busy up there. But it's nice and quiet where I am at the moment. I've got an amazing view behind me. And uh, final push now up to the summit of Penny Fan. As you can see ahead of me, the path goes all the way around. And then that little peak there is Corn Dew. And then just across is Penny Fan.
last penny found summited and just working my way down uh, the other side now. Kind of work my way through the mountains along the ridge line and look for somewhere to wild camp in a couple of hours, hopefully. And the weather's beautiful up here and the views are spectacular. It's lovely. So quiet up here now, and there's no nobody here, and it's really really peaceful. Really peaceful hiking up in the mountains, and the views are amazing. And just really enjoying the quietness of it, and just looking at the scenery. Uh, I've got my tent up now, and the sun the sun's just gone down. Uh, this sky is amazing colour. Grey and red, and lovely. And the sun, the sun's just gone down behind the mountain there. And it's starting to get cold here. This sky is so beautiful. Uh, it's been a good day's hiking today. I made it 15 miles. Uh, it's time to get in a tent, get warm, get cosy. Beautiful. Good morning. Slept really well. It was a bit chilly last night, so I put a buff on my head. Uh, keep my head warm. And it was really windy. Tent was flapping around a bit, which woke me up a bit. But it's really still now, and the sun's just come up, so let's have a look what it's like outside. Around my tent, and this incredible sunrise happening at the moment. Beautiful up here, and it was a bit of a windy night last night. And my tent was flapping around a bit, which kept me up a little bit, but I did get some good sleep. And just noticed my tent. <laughs> A bit pointy. <laughs> so I think my tent's snapped here, <laughs> but it's still upright, which is good. But this sunrise is incredible. I can see quite a few people over on the summit of Penny Fan, and they must be up there early watching the sunrise. All packed up and ready to go now. And the sun's come up above the mountain. And it's beautiful, it's a beautiful morning, but it is cold and chilly. So I'm gonna start hiking and make my way off the mountain. 
and hopefully warm up. And the plan is just to walk along this ridge line here where the sun's come up and then make my way off the mountain and head towards Brecon. Sheep are mad. You can see them all on the side of these cliffs. They're just almost vertical. I don't know how they climb up there. And I can see the town of Brecon, which is here. And that's what I'm heading for. Wow, what a lovely little village of Clan Freenock, or Freenack, I think it's pronounced. Probably had the cleanest public toilets that I've seen in a long time. Awesome. Now reach the Monmouth and Brecon Canal and I just have a couple of miles to get into Brecon and then about seven miles on country roads to get home and I've now been outside for 24 hours and it's been awesome just disconnecting just being in nature being up in the mountains and seeing a nice sunset and a sunrise and I love these little mini adventures two days of hiking and a wild camp up in the mountains and I love the long distance hiking but it's really nice to get out on these little trips just to get outside and be immersed in nature and it's really relaxing and peaceful.